Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12. I am Jason, and I am trying to take my family on vacation with just the profits of what we sell on our eBay page and on, at our flea market booth. So, uh, changed up the background a little bit. Uh, you know, still big Yankees fan, still sporting my Yankees stuff, but they're not doing so hot right now. So, I'm also going to show off my daughter's high school bowling jersey because it's my favorite player. So, I'm going to show off her jersey too. But, I do this uh, by a lot of the stuff that I resell right now is sports cards. Uh, I'm reselling a lot of sports cards because it's, it's a really busy time of year for us right now. And it's really easy to list sports cards for me because I have enough knowledge about them that I can I can grab up what I know will resell for a couple bucks and make me just a little bit of profit. So, uh, let's get into what is selling this week. Alright guys, we are inside because it is burning hot in the garage right now. Uh, this Isaiah Kenner Felfa. Felf Kenner Felfa. Felfa. Uh, it's hard to pronounce this guy's name. All I know is that he is tearing it up in fantasy baseball right now. Uh, he's got several stolen bases and is just flat raking right now. Uh, and uh, again, a guy that I recognize because I'm I'm playing fantasy baseball right now. Uh, he's eligible at multiple positions, which makes him extremely valuable in the world of fantasy baseball. But this is a Topps Chrome. It's not as rookie. It's a Future Stars card of him. Um, but, I don't know, I bought it for a quarter at a flea market, and uh, I thought maybe it would sell for about 3 bucks. Listed it for $2.99, sold for an offer of $2 and a quarter. So, after fees, plus the quarter that I have invested in, it's going to be about about $0.50. Cents. So, I'm going to make a dollar fifty ish about a dollar fifty on this one. A little over a dollar fifty, but we'll just say a dollar fifty to be safe. So uh yeah, it's gonna ship out on that ninety one cent standard envelope. Alright guys, we got some cards that have sold today, but before we can pick out the cards that sold, we gotta put up the cards that we just listed. So let me get these put away and then I'll start picking the cards that sold today. So the first card today is this Randy Johnson 1989 Tops rookie card. It's a little off center, top to bottom. Um, you can see how much thinner it is on the bottom compared to the amount on the top. So it's a little off center, but it is Randy Johnson's rookie card with the Montreal Expos uh, back when he was still throwing a bit wild. Paid ten cents for this card. Had it listed for two dollars and forty nine cents. Took an offer of two dollars on this card so the 15 percent on that two dollars will be about 30 cents plus the 10 cents i paid for it i'm gonna have about a 50 cents into it i'm gonna make a dollar 50 profit on this one the next one that sold is a jordan and it is right here this uh what year is this 93 94 tops uh michael jordan it's actually a misprint one of the uncorrected misprints. I don't know if you guys can see it on the back. It has the wrong birthday on it. His birthday is in February. But anyway, so it's an uncorrected error. I don't know if that really makes it any worth anymore because all of this, all of the cards have that same birthday on it. So uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Bought it for a dollar at the flea market. It sold for $5.99. So after fees and the cost of the card, I am going to make about a $4, just over a $4 profit on this one. And it's going to ship out on that $0.91 cent, uh, standard envelope. The last card that sold out of these uh, these three, this Luka Doncic. Doncic, wow. Luka uh, sold for $3.99. It's another one of the cards that I got to pick out of the bulk of the cards that was uh, 10 cents each. So I have a dime invested in this and it sold for $3.99. So it sold for $4. So I'm going to have just over 50 cents into this card. So I'm going to make a just under a three dollars and fifty cent uh, profit. Actually, we're just we'll go ahead and round that up. We'll say I make a three dollar profit on this, make it a little easier on the math. So uh, there you go, guys. That is everything that's sold. Uh, pretty decent little night. 
So uh, we'll get these packaged up. They're all going to ship on that 91 cent standard envelope. Let's get those packaged up and let's get this stuff shipped out. So the next card that sold actually sold from the cards that I listed yesterday. There it is. This Giancarlo Stanton uh, 2012 Topps Chrome Refractor. It's numbered uh, 55 out of 75. Got it at a uh, flea market over in Newburgh, Indiana for a dollar. And it sold for $11. Had it listed for $11.99 and sent out an offer this morning for $11. And the buyer took it. So uh, after fees and the cost of the card, we're going to make a $8.50 profit on this one. And it's going to ship out on the uh, 91 cent standard envelope. Giancarlo stands with the Yankees now. Yeah. This is actually, what, his second year card? Huh. I didn't realize that. How about that? So the next card that sold this week is this Kevin Garnett. Uh, 97, 98, I believe. Uh, Flare Metal. Uh, got it for 10 cents at the flea market here in Owensboro. And it sold for $2.10. Plus the 91 cent. Uh, standard envelope i'm gonna make after fees and the cost of the card which is only 10 cents again i'm going to make about a little over a dollar 50 profit on this one this sale comes out of the vintage side uh this is the 1973 tops chicago cubs if you look on closely down there you got a ron santo you got a uh Let's see who else would be on here. Billy Williams, uh, Ernie Banks. Uh, I believe Fer Fergie Jenkins should be on there too. Uh, wow, those are little. Hard to read all that. But uh, yeah, so those would be some of the, the stars and Hall of Famers that's on this card. Uh, I got it again at the flea market for $0.10 cents out, of their, uh, out of their little bulk box. And uh, it sold for two dollars and nine cents. Originally had it listed for two ninety nine. Uh, actually, I think I might have had it listed for two forty nine. But it's got that ninety one cent standard envelope on it, and I'm guessing the guy wanted to spend exactly three dollars on the card. So that's what he spends. I sell it for two dollars and nine cents. I will make just over a dollar fifty on this one. Also, all right, guys. This Michael Jordan is in not in the best of shape uh i wish i would have realized what kind of shape it was in whenever i got it uh it's actually kind of hard to tell in this video but anyway i listed it for two dollars and 49 cents it sold for two dollars uh after fees and the cost of the item uh fees on two dollars is what about 30 cents uh yeah about 30 cents i'm gonna make about a 50 cent profit on this one uh not worth my time even with me being able to copy and paste from somebody else's listing uh because it was a dollar card but um you know you live and you learn i i didn't i didn't check this card near as well as i should have you can kind of see it there where it's got that little mark in it yeah oh well making a little bit of profit not a whole lot but you know it is what it is this Randy Johnson 1989 Donruss rated rookie uh, sold. You know, uh, it's going to ship out on that 91 cent, um, that 91 cent uh, a standard envelope. Uh, I got it at uh, Consumers Mall here in Owensboro in the 10 cent box. Uh, they do have a, a lot of really, really good stuff in there. As long, well, a lot of really good stuff when two to three dollar cards are considered. Um, Stuff that you can flip rather easily. So I'm going to make about a dollar to a dollar fifty profit on this one. So uh, pretty happy with that. On a 10 cent investment, making a dollar profit on it, I'm uh, I'm okay with that. And uh, super easy to ship and super easy to list. All right. So this next one sold. Where is There it is. It is, I believe, a 2011 uh, Topps Chrome reprint of the Bo Jackson 1986 tops uh traded 
rookie card. Uh, paid a dollar for this at a uh, at the flea market. It sold for seven dollars and a penny. I had it listed for seven ninety nine. Got an offer of seven dollars and a penny. Uh, not real sure what the penny was about, but you know it is what it is. Uh, I took that offer, and um, you know I'm going to make about a five to five dollar and fifty cent profit on this one. Uh, it's going to ship out rather easily in that ninety one cent standard envelope. So yeah, another little five dollar profit. You can't beat that. Normally, it is basketball and baseball cards that are selling, but uh, now that I'm freed up on my football cards, I uh, got this William the Refrigerator Perry uh, rookie card. Uh, it listed it listed it for five five ninety nine. Sent out an offer for five dollars and a quarter, and the buyer accepted. This one actually came out of my personal collection. I don't really know where. I came across it. I believe I pulled it out of a collection that I bought. But either way, I have, I have no idea exactly how much I have invested in it. But it sold for five twenty five. dollars So after fees, I'm going to make, uh, that'll be about a 50, about a 75 cent, about 75 cents in fees. And it's going to ship out of that 91 cent uh, standard envelope uh, that, the, that the buyer paid for. So I'm going to make about a, four dollar and fifty cent profit on this one where are we at there's a jim evans rookie there we are Derek jeter 2002 tops chrome uh this one uh listed it for seven dollars and 99 cents which it sold for got it at the flea market for a dollar and uh, is a card that I actually already have. Uh, as you guys probably can tell from all of this, I am a big Derek Jeter fan. I like me some Derek Jeter stuff. And uh, yeah, going to make a $6 profit on this one. So uh, really happy with that. Going to get it uh, packaged up and get it shipped out. Next one that sold is another Michael Jordan card. So we're going to come back here in the back. Uh, where are we at? There we are. This uh, Michael Jordan game face is a insert out of the, what is it, 96, 97 uh, collector's choice. It's not in the greatest of shape. Um, you know, if it was in better shape, it'd probably sell for around $20. Uh, but with this one having the damage to the card that it did, uh, I ended up taking an offer. Had it listed for eleven ninety nine, took the offer of $10.00. Um, but you know, still turning a $1 investment into a $10 sale is really good because after fees and the cost of the card, I'm going to make about a $7 and 50 cents, almost $8 profit on this one. So, uh, going to ship out that 91 cent standard envelope and going to be super easy for me to take care of. So there you go, guys. That's everything that's sold. Surprisingly enough, a lot of that stuff came out of the junk wax era. Uh, what's referred to as the junk wax era. If you're not familiar with that, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and explain it to you. The junk wax era is the late 80s through the 90s, uh, through, well, through most of the 90s. Uh, and it was when sports cards was at the height of its popularity and everything, everything was getting mass produced. Like super, super mass produced. Like the 91... Uh, Don Russ set is probably the most produced set ever, uh, which also leads to stuff like even in the junk wax area, the Tops brand is still worth some money um, because so much of that stuff was printed. But so a lot of the stuff I sold this week came out of the junk wax era, and um, you know that was really the era that I started collecting a lot of. So it was kind of cool to see some of the cards that I collected being sold. Um, we made $48 profit in sports cards, uh, which is not a lot. Uh, when you look at the number of sales that I had, it's not a whole lot, but there's a lot of like $1.50 profit, uh, dollar profit here, $1.50 there, $2 there. Um, and it's just a constant flow. Uh, and if I had more time, those numbers would go up because there would be that many more going out. But, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, this is something that we do on the side that we're saving the money from what we do to try to pay for the vacation. So, you know, it's just, this is not something that's a full-time job for us. So making a, a dollar fifty here and a dollar fifty there is okay with us. Now, if we were doing this as for, uh, for a living, we would want to be making hundreds of dollars a day, not, not seven dollars a day. But I don't know. I enjoy what we're doing. And I enjoy reselling the, the sports cards and a $48 profit on a week of selling sports cards uh, when I invest the time, the, the amount of time that I'm investing, I'm okay with that. So, if this is the type of thing that you're into, then you're the type of guy to be into this kind of thing. So I appreciate it, guys. Subscribe, comment down below, show us how much you love us. And Dylan, don't let me forget, I still owe you money from those binders. So... Text me and remind me. I'll hit you up and I'll get you your money.